Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we're playing some Hitman 3. Now you might remember on Hitman 2, we went through a lot of the maps killing everybody. And well, like any good serial killer, it's time to escalate. We're moving on to Hitman 3 and we're going to England. If that weather doesn't make you murderous, I don't know what will. Anyway, let's jump in, shall we? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and kill the entire population of England but today we're just starting with this. I'm just wondering, can I just... <laughs> just the briefcase bash. Oh, oh, I'm fine. I could have sworn he was there a second ago. Yeah, I could have sworn he was here too. Let's keep looking. I got other cases to solve though. So you try and root him out and I'll root out the other murderer. I didn't even kill them. I just knocked them out, took the guy's clothes and then walked away. What even is stealth? That is stealth. You may not like it, but this is peak stealth. Oh God, someone's coming. I see someone on the map. Why is, why is there a white dot running around just out here? What? Did you bring an extra set of clothes or what? He's in his same clothes again. Huh? <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out where he's going. I think he's going back to the car. <laughs> he's a bit lost. Mr. Whitmer, thank God you're here. What? Can I take you to Madame Carlyle? <laughs> um. Yes, please. <laughs> She's like, I could have sworn you just walked off the other way. He's like, uh. <laughs> How have I broken the game? <laughs> Literally in their driveway. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Is he just back in his car? He is. He's just having an existential crisis. Look at him. At least I got my briefcase back. I wonder if I could hide a, um, retrieve snowball. No, that comes later. <laughs> That's the secret weapon. <laughs> oh, the perfect weapon. <laughs> oh god, she has one too. I better be careful. <laughs> I don't think that would work. At least she'll be clean. I was about to say when she wakes up, but no, I snapped her neck. It's not how these things work. All right, time to hide some bodies in the hedge maze. But to hide some bodies, I'm gonna have to make some bodies. Ooh, this is going surprisingly well. They're, I mean, they're finding a lot of bodies, but there's no way to pin them on me other than the fact people started dying exactly when I showed up but they don't think about it that much. This is Zay, thank you very much for the five subs, by the way. That is very, very kind of you. I'm gonna kill someone just for you. The next kill is for you. If I know you, and I do very, very well, you hate gardeners. <laughs> so I guess I'll target the gardeners on your behalf. <laughs> A master assassin. <laughs> They're all gonna have briefcase marks on them. They're gonna struggle so much. <laughs> that combination! It was so slick! No! Oh god, he's fighting back! No, 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 no! No! You can't beat a briefcase with a gun! It's physically impossible! Alright, I've taken out my secret weapon. Oh, Zay, I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> it's all Zay's fault. No one knows it was me. Somehow I got out of that situation. <laughs> oh, God, I'm going to need a fish if I'm going to get this job done. Zay, I know you want me to murder every gardener to ever live, but I think I should leave the area. I can't always do what you want to do, Zay. <laughs> Zay's probably there just like, I was just trying to support the dude. And now he's framing me for murder. Okay, I'm gonna head inside for a bit. Outside is getting a bit uh, dicey. <laughs> Wait, oh my God, this is the closet they're keeping the bodies in? I'm gonna level with you here, folks. You're gonna need a bigger closet. <laughs> There's gonna be a big pile of fish. Oh, let's just all fawn over him. Wow. Can you smell it? I uh, had beans, what? and I think they were off. Sorry. You kind of ruined the moment. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Did you hear that? All right, never mind. I like how he's saying that about his beans, but I'm here holding a fish, a raw, just a raw fish. Uh oh, uh oh. No, the bean dude. Come here. <laughs> I think I can kill these people pretty quick. Oh, they didn't even notice. Okay, well then. <laughs> just take out the full-size axe. Something about the axe is just so much more vicious than the rest of the items. Oh no, 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 he's running straight out. I didn't know there was a door there. <laughs> now they'll never know it was me. He's over there! Do you think I could take out these gardeners before they get away? 
Oh, Jesus. With situational awareness like that, I think so. <laughs> Look at him. He's having an existential crisis. He's like, oh, I thought I was... I thought I was dead, but... Then I got revived, but... Then I went up to the castle, but I was already in there, so I ran down. <laughs> He's just so confused. <laughs> oh, all right. Here we go. Wait, no, don't fake surrender. Don't fake surrender. Why does it have to be the same button? All right. What? What? <laughs> Guess I'll just be on my way then. <laughs> Hello? I heard, what? Why are you naked? Wait, are you the PI? Excuse me, I'm talking to you. Oh, he is the PI. One second. I looked in the bush and I didn't find anyone. <laughs> this guy is going through torture. <laughs> oh, it's the beans, dude. He's forgotten me. I didn't make that much of an impression. Looking good, man. Looking what? good. Thank you. Why has your opinion changed of me? You didn't seem to care about impressing me earlier. Anyway, I don't like you. <laughs> I love the punches in this game, just the sound effect. I don't think any murders are gonna be solved today. There's way too many of them. Oh God, I hope no one see. Wait, that's him again. Do you see? He's in the clothes again. Oh my, I'm going back down there. <laughs> I'm gonna teach him a lesson. How does he have so many changes of clothes, but they're all the same? <laughs> This is just all over the place. <laughs> this is just all over the feckin' place. <laughs> I, how many times have I knocked him out? How many changes of clothing does he have? You just keep stripping him. He deserves to be stripped of his job, okay? But I've just been stripping his clothes. It's symbolism. I am an artist. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, now this is awkward. One second. Hold on. I'm... All right, hold on. There we go. Okay, <laughs> that was really awkward. <laughs> Thank God they're dead and they'll they'll just not be able to remember that moment. I won't have to stay up thinking about it at night. Oh, no. no! Please, help me. <laughs> the way he said that's so monotone. Is that a brick? Yes, the perfect weapon, other than the fish. It goes fish, brick, machine gun. <laughs> In a second, I want to see, can I just start filling the grave for no reason? I can, okay. It's just mid-murder spree, he just goes digging. Oh, and he does it fast too. Right. Well, that's a bit odd. <laughs> just fill the grave for no reason. It's his call sign. If you see a fresh mound of earth, you know it's the shovel killer. Can I get you from here, lady? Oh. I think that was caught on camera. <laughs> the camera's looking right at her. <laughs> that and the mound is how they're gonna know it was me, the shovel killer. <laughs> the shovel just comes in from off screen. <laughs> oh, she's giving a talk. The Undertaker should be here for a talk. I mean the wrestler, by the way, not me. <laughs> I just think it would be cool to have a celebrity appearance at the funeral. Choke someone for 30 seconds, it's an Easter egg. All right, I can try and choke this lady out. How long are we going to fucking do this? <laughs> Get it over with! <laughs> ah! Oh, someone sparrowed me! Oh, hold on! No, the- oh. I just gently threw him a fish as some sort of bribe. And now we need to just- I did that on camera. <laughs> the camera was showing off the top left. For fuck's sake. Who do you think could have done it? I bet it was the infamous shovel killer. What do you mean you've never heard of him? The guy is infamous. One of the most bloodthirsty killers ever. And he's really well dressed and cool also. Like, you, you really seem to like this shovel killer guy. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's not me. <laughs> I gotta keep an eye out for stragglers around the grounds. Because you never know where the, a cheeky gardener might be hiding. And you know how Zay feels about gardeners. <laughs> so we gotta try and take them all out. <gasps> There's the detective! <laughs> He's got his clothes again! How come he keeps getting them here? He must have some serious, he uh, serious head trauma by now. The amount of times I've knocked him out. You see, I want to just see why he keeps coming in and then immediately leaving. I don't know if he's getting clothes from here. You'd think at this point the detective would see me and like my image must be... Just ingrained in his uh, memory now. Like, I I'm pretty sure I'd haunt his nightmares forever at this point. Where does he go? He does! He gets it every time from there! Alright. Well, someone will probably find you. <laughs> at least the clothes will be next to you this time. <laughs> This man has been tormented. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, what do we got here? A soda can and some fruit, an apple, and an apricot. 
weapons of mass destruction in the right hands. Slow. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe no hands can make that uh, a weapon. What the? He's going into shock. Oh my god, he can't believe he's dead. What's wrong with him? I don't know what's wrong with him. I'm sure he'll be fine. Oh. That is Alexa I'm finally seeing the target. Um, I don't suppose this will work, will it? Oh. Well. That's Madame Carlyle. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that was the first and last time I've seen her. <laughs> I like how they're introducing her as I'm killing her. <laughs> She's like, oh, good job. And I was like, oh, what? Sorry? You said something about the target? What? Where is she? <laughs> what floor is she on? <laughs> I, I was just killing everyone. <laughs> the body found thing is just constant. It will not stop coming up. Like, <laughs> I don't need. Oh, it's the detective. Did you see that? There was like a little brief flash of the, the detective there. He's found the body. He's such a good detective. He must be like thinking to himself, I'm in way over my head here. <laughs> I thought it was one murder that was disguised as a suicide. <laughs> Didn't think it was this. And the office safe is in mine. What? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't like him. <laughs> you ever just have one of those days? Time to go to work. Time to go to work, he says. I think it's too late. No. Is <laughs> I could hear the detective. He's just like, something really bad is happening. <laughs> I wonder what that could be. Like, look out in those gardens. I honestly don't know how these people weren't a bit more concerned standing on the balcony, given everything that's going on. Even if they weren't aware of all the murders inside, you can see, like, literally 10 bodies from the balcony. <laughs> They're everywhere. So I don't know why they were so calm about this whole situation. <gasps> Is that a well? Ooh. Well, well, well. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> All right, surely that must be nearly it. Like, who could possibly be left on the map? I feel like we've killed everyone, but just to be safe, we're going to disguise ourselves as the man himself and go take a visit. The Hardy Boys will figure this out. Mm. Detective droppings, still fresh. Ah, oh, there he is. He's still having an existential crisis. Sorry, but do I know you? You do, I'm your twin. Let's go solve crimes together. Do I need to even say anything? I think my face says it all. It says I'm the one who's been killing people. <laughs> Oi, Tossa, what the hell do you call that outfit? <laughs> what do you mean? You love this outfit. You wear it all the time. And not only do you love it enough to wear it, you love it enough for it to be your only outfit. You keep changing into it. He is brave or stupid to, uh, to call me a tosser because I've knocked him out quite a number of times today and I'm holding a crowbar. <laughs> oh, Gardner. Oh, Zay, I'm going for him. Don't worry. <laughs> Thank you very much for the support, Zay. I hope I have paid you back and uh, I've killed enough gardeners for you. I don't know why specifically you want the gardeners dead. And I know you never actually said kill all the gardeners, but it was more like body language that I was picking up on. It was really telling me to kill all the gardeners. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you're kind of more responsible for it than I am. In fact, even in a court of law, I don't think they'd convict me. I did nothing wrong today. <laughs> you can't even see me. Uh, but look, I'm picking up on the body language. I, I, I'm very good at body language. I'm picking up a lot as we speak. And right now, I'm picking up that you're delighted to take the fall for me. <laughs> As you should, because you are the one that was, like, motivating all these killings. Garden Fork already got one. Thank you very much. Wouldn't want anyone to think I'm a gardener, especially not with Zay around. Am I right, guys? <laughs> Poor Zay has just been pushed under the bus for everything. He's just getting completely blamed. <laughs> I heard Zay is here. Run. <laughs> I'm convinced that everyone like the guards and authority are all dead because they don't seem to be running for help anymore. Uh, balcony? What? There was someone on the balcony! I'm coming! <laughs> that person's just terrified. <laughs> if I was Agent 47 now, I would get down onto all fours and bound up the stairs growling. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Oh, I still haven't found the case file. Oh my god, and I killed everyone so I don't have any lead on it. Button. <laughs> okay, there we go. Not the greatest secret safe. Might be some sort of a code. 
Okay. Oh, Jesus, even using my brain hurts. <laughs> I'm getting angry. This is a cool little back room. You've got so much peepholes. <laughs> Let's just look away from that. Uh, let's look through the other one instead. <laughs> yep, yeah, no bodies. Everything seems fine. <laughs> oh, there are clues above the safe. Clock, telescope, fire, and moose. What? <laughs> it's the oh, wait, there's a number on the wall. Oh, nine. Okay, one, seven. Now we have one, nine, seven. And that's all we really need, isn't it? One, nine, seven, one. One, nine, seven, two. All right. One, nine, seven, three. Okay. All right. One, nine, seven, four. Okay. All right. One, nine, seven, five. Ah. Oh. Detective Kevin strikes again. It's simple, Watson. You simply kill everyone in the mansion so you have ample time to figure out the combination. Did I kill the detective? I don't think I did. I think I gotta go finish off my last order of business. What a day of detectiving, detectiving, detect, detecting, detecting. -ing. The AI is so confused. Even the music is like picking up. They're like something bad's about to happen. I don't suppose you want to run the other way, do you? I'd love to throw him down the well. To the well. I'm herding him. I'm herding detectives. <laughs> go on, go. No, 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 no. Herding. Oh, he's just confused. To be fair, I don't really blame him. <laughs> you insane. <laughs> An apple to the head. <laughs> he's being tortured. <laughs> That was a soda can. He just went flying. I assume the fall won't kill him and he'll just wake up down the well <laughs> in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the English countryside. Everyone in the manor is dead and he's going to be down in the well just screaming. <laughs> This poor guy literally did nothing wrong. <laughs> I don't know why I've decided to target him specifically. This PI is gonna haunt the house now. Oh, it's perfect. It's all gonna add up, isn't it? It's gonna be great. And now they legit will get a letter like, oh, your estranged aunt has died and all of her family have also died as well as all of their staff. And now you gotta stay in the mansion for a night while it's haunted by a random PI for some reason. <laughs> it's all very confusing. I know it doesn't make much sense. <laughs> oh, thank God you can dump. I was worried. Down you go. It is water down there. He's gonna be fine. Yep. It's totally fine. Any second now, he's gonna bob to the surface. <clears throat> um, here's a ball because you're alive and we'll need something to keep yourself busy down there. All right, let's go. <laughs> My job here is done. <laughs> Mission accomplished. And what's better? No witnesses. Yeah, he's just walking into the field. <laughs> they just caught it there because they're like, uh, we don't know what to do after he walks over the bridge. We did it. We killed everyone. In good time as well. Like, if it wasn't for the file and, like, torturing the detective, we probably would have done that in, like, an hour and, what, ten minutes? I think we spent a solid half an hour between the file and torturing the detective. But that is a GG. <laughs>